वेलकम टू यू पी एस सी आई एम पी द अनुसंसाधन नैशनल रिसर्च फाउंडेशन बिल टू वन ट्वेंटी थ्री द अनुसंसाधन नैशनल रिसर्च फाउंडेशन बिल टू वन ट्वेंटी थ्री टू एस्टैब्लिश द अनुसंसाधन नैशनल रिसर्च फाउंडेशन टू प्रोवाइड हाई लेवल स्ट्रैटेजिक डायरेक्शन फॉर रिसर्च इनोवेशन एंड एंटरप्रीनोरशिप इन द फील्ड ऑफ नैचुरल साइंस इंक्लूडिंग मैथमेटिकल साइंस इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी environmental and earth science health and agriculture and scientific and technological interface of the humanities and social science to promote the monitor and provide support as required for such a research and for matter connected there with or incidental there to initiative preparing the road road map for a short medium and long term research and development seeding growing and facilitating research at academic and research institution particularly at university and college where research capacity is at a nascent stage through a programs such as research and development project fellowships academic chairs and creation of the center of excellence funding competitive uh, competitive peer review grants proposal to eligible persons assisting in setting up research infrastructure and environment that is condensive for us scientific pursuit with specific focus on matter of the national priorities emerging frontiers and strategic research increasing india's role and participation in the key areas of the national and global importance supporting trans translation of research undertake into the capital intensive technology coordinating across the central government state government public authorities industry and research institution to document and analyze the expenditure on scientific research and their outcomes during each financial year and reports the same to the central government involving participation in the international collaborative projects and fostering exchange of the scientific information encouraging collaboration with the scientific firm within and outside the india including scientists of the indian origin with a view to enrich the indian scientist scientific ecosystem and encouraging the public sector enterprises as well as the private sector entities to invest in the activities of the foundation the governing board referred to subsection 1 consists of the following names governing board first prime minister of india ex officio president union minister of science and technology ex officio vice president union minister of education ex officio vice president two uh, vice president union minister of science and technology ex officio vice president the union minister of education ex officio vice president member of from niti aayog dealing with the science and technology ex officio member secretary to the government of the india in the department of science and technology ex officio member secretary of the government of india in department of scientific industrial research ex officio member secretary secretary to the government of india in the department of the biotechnology ex officio member secretary of the government of the india in the department of higher education ex officio member the principal scientific advisor to the government of india ex officio member secretary the president of the governing board uh, may nominate or appoint the following member of the governing board namely not exceeding two member from the prime minister science technology and innovation council not exceeding the five member from business organization or industry one member from the field of humanities social science not exceeding two member from the institution engaged in scientific technology research and development not exceeding six experts who have special knowledge in the areas the areas health mathematical physical science biological science and engineering technology innovation partnership computer and information science and engineering the executive council referred to in the sub section one shall consist of the following nominated by the president of the governing board namely principal scientific advisor to the government of india ex officio chairman the principal the executive council the prince the principal scientific advisor to the government of india ex officio chairperson secretary of the government secretary to the government of in, uh, of india in the department of science and technology in ex officio member secretary to the government of india in the department of biotechnology ex officio member secretary to the government of india in the department of scientific and industrial research ex officio member secretary of the government of india in the ministry of the earth science ex officio member secretary to, to the government of india in the department of the higher education ex officio member secretary to the uh, government of the india in department of health research ex officio member secretary to the government of the india in department of defense research and development ex officio member 
सेक्रेटरी ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एटॉमिक एनर्जी एक्स ऑफिस ऑफ मेंबर सेक्रेटरी ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ द स्पेस एक्स ऑफिस ऑफ मेंबर सेक्रेटरी ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड रिसर्च एग्रीकल्चर रिसर्च एंड एजुकेशन एक्स ऑफिस ऑफ मेंबर चीफ एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑफिसर ऑफ द फाउंडेशन अपॉइंटमेंट अंडर इलेवन एक्स ऑफिस ऑफ मेंबर सेक्रेटरी The foundation shall uh, receive monies from the following sources, namely, a grant and loans of such a money, uh, such a sum of money as the central government may consider necessary after due appropriation made by the parliament by a law in this behalf. Any sum received for research and development, including through a donation from any other source, including the public sector enterprises, the private sector, philanthropic organization, foundation, or international bodies. Recovery is made uh, of the amounts granted to the foundation. Any income from the investment of the amount received by the foundation. All amounts with the funds for science and engineering research under the Science and Engineering Research Board Act 2008 as an appointment date, such as other source as may be prescribed. The accounts of the foundation shall be audited by Computer Computer and Audit General of India annually, and expenditure include connection with such audit shall be payable by the foundation to the Computer and Audit General of India. Thank you. Bye.